What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at a hard SQL interview question asked by Apple. Let's get into it. First of all, we just hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, which is absolutely insane. Thank you so much. Celebrate, I got this new mic, which should improve audio quality. I'm excited for it. Let's get into the question. As I said, this one's asked by Apple, but also by Microsoft. It's marked as hard on stratastretch.com and it's titled the most popular client ID among users using video and voice calls. Task is pretty simple, quite short. It is to select the most popular client ID based on account of the number of users who have at least 50% of their events from the following list. Video call received, video call sent, voice call received, voice call sent. So all just call related events. That was pretty quick, but let's go over it again. We should select the most popular client ID based on account of the number of users who have at least 50% of their events being call events. All right. We only have one table called fact events. Let's preview this to make a bit of sense of it. We have an ID, which just seems to be a row number here. Time ID, which should be the date, user ID, customer ID, client ID, event type, and event ID. So event ID seems to match for the event type. And then client ID is actually a platform. So it, it could be the desktop client of a software or the mobile client of a software. And the ID is actually just that platform spelled out. Interesting. So the expected output would be one of these client IDs, in this case, desktop for the test case, for test data. And that's all that's required from us. So pretty straightforward task. Let's think about how to break this down. So pretty much what we need is a list of users who have at least 50% of their events being call events, call related events, video or voice calls. Then we need to count these users also per per client ID and then basically filter the output to the client ID that has the most of these users. Limit output to one client ID which has the most users. Okay. So that's pretty simple if you break it down. Let's try to think about how to get this list of users. So let's just select user ID from this table fact events. And let's think about how to get this call event information in. At least 50% of the events should be from this list. So if we were to filter to these events only, we wouldn't have information about how many other events did they have, how many non-call events. So what I like to do is somehow have it as a column. And I think I can use a case statement here to assign a one if it's a call event and a zero if it's a non-call event. And then I can use that to calculate the percentage or ratio. So let's do case, when, then, end statement here. And when this event type is any of the following, then it should be one, otherwise it should be zero. In order to check this list, it even says list in the question in the problem statement. We can just treat that as a list and say, if the event type is in that list, then we want to assign one else zero. That's pretty cool actually. So I'm gonna put this list in a new row and a new line, and that should make it more clear. Anyways, let's see if this runs, just to show you what I'm doing. So I get the user ID and then it's gonna assign a zero if the event in that row is not a call event, just like message sent or file received. And then it's gonna be a 
one if it's a message event. And you can kind of compare to the example input here where it's not a call event, not a call event, and then two call events. And that's what I have here. And the user ID is also matched, so it is in order. It's pretty cool. So in order to get the percentage of call events, I'm just gonna wrap this with an average function. It's a pretty cool trick that I'm using a lot recently to, whenever I want to calculate a ratio. Now, in order to get this per user ID, that average, I also need to group by the user ID. It was a bit too quick here by running it. And this will give me this exact ratio. That should be at least 50%. So it can be 0, 0 0.143, 0 0.25. And basically, I just want to keep those that are above 0 0.5 or at least 0 0.5. I guess this one would be included. And yeah, that's pretty much the next step. So we're halfway through the first sub-problem, so to say. Let's just think about how to do this. Now, I talk about filtering aggregate functions a lot, and whenever I'm trying to do this, I'm gonna have to use having or a subquery and then filter on it. But if I want to filter on this value right here, which I just said I wanted to do, I need to do I need to make it a having statement. So I'm gonna remove it from the output and just filter on it. And this entire thing should be greater or equal to 0 0.5. As stated here in the problem statement, they should have at least 50% of the events from that list. So it should be greater or equal since it's at least and then that should do the trick pretty much. It's just about knowing where to place that and then doing it. So let's try to run that again using the run shortcut here. Now we just get the user ID and no other output because I'm only using this average calculation in the having clause, which is kind of filter for me. So now we pretty much took care of that sub problem and can move on to the next one, which is counting these users per client ID. So we don't have client ID in there yet. I think we can add it to this selection by adding it to the group by. So instead of counting user IDs and checking their call event ratio, we do this per client and user ID. So now we get the client ID and the user ID for users who have at least 50% of the events being call events. And something that can happen here is that users are using several clients. So they're not just using the mobile client, but they're also using the desktop client, for example. And then they might show up in both actually. And it's a question of whether we want to allow for that and whether it's also a desktop and mobile users, or if we just want to get the platform that they're using mainly, their main platform. But I think for this, it's still a user per platform. If you're using both, then you're a user on both platforms. So I, I think it makes sense here. Could be something to clarify in the interview though. So now we have the client ID and user ID of users who have a lot of calls, who have a high ratio of call events. And now we need to count these. So in order to do that, we have to make this a subquery pretty much because this is getting a bit convoluted. And now we can pretty much select client ID and a count. So if you now select distinct user ID, pretty much a user ID should only show up here, should only show up once here anyways because you group by it. So we can make this account star, but if you want to be clear, you can use user ID just to make the code more understandable. Okay, so if we do this, select from this subquery temporary table, let's call it call users, users who call a lot, and then group by first column, which is client ID, we should get a count 
per platform of how many users they have who have at least 50% of their events being call events. See, desktop has more than mobile. So another thing we need to do here is order by that count in descending order to have the highest on top. And then if we limit our output to only the first row, then we have the most popular client ID here. Now we can remove the count from our selection because we don't want that to be part of the output. We only want the desktop client ID as our output. So let's do that. And yeah, I just pretty much now I need to spell it out in the order by. I can refer to it as two as the second column. So let's input user ID here. And yeah, if we run this, we should have an accepted solution. Let's check it here. Pretty much this is it. The solution doesn't allow for ties. If there were several platforms who had the same user count, then we would still only output one. But this is not really in the question. We could use a window function and rank it filter to the first rank or use something like the max function to get the max count and then filter to the max count. But yeah, this is just adding on top of that solution. So I'm going to leave it at that. That's going to be it for the question. Cool thing about this question is that it is available for free on stratusrush.com. So you can try it without having a subscription. You just need to create an account. You can give this a try. Maybe you can try that rank solution, that max solution, or try to come up with it yourself without looking at this video. If you go through the link in the video description and get a subscription for stratusrush.com, you get access to over a thousand real interview questions from your favorite companies including curated and video solutions, and you're supporting my channel by just getting a subscription that way. Now is a good time to get one as there are often discount codes and you can, for example, get a lifetime subscription and never worry about paying again with a discount code and get up to 40% off. How does that sound? Anyways, that's been enough for me. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.